Um, bom dia a todos. I'm going to change to, to English. English. Uh, welcome to workshop of, on game theory in honor of Marilo Sotomayor. Uh, this workshop is a satire me, uh, event of uh, the International Workshop on Game Theory and Economic Applications uh, of the Game Theory Society that just uh, finished this week there in Sao Paulo, uh, the Universidade de Sao Paulo, uh, with the presence of many distinguished researchers. And following the tradition of our school, uh, uh, Graduate School of Economics in hosting meetings in economic uh, theory. Uh, today we have a privilege of having a subgroup of these people here present their work. Thank you for their presence here. Uh, I'd like then uh, to thank also our sponsor, uh, Fundação Getúlio Vargas, uh, IPEA, Instituto de Pesquisa Econômica Aplicada, and uh, Economics and Politics Research Group to make this event possible. Uh, just a brief note, uh, 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 Professor Marilda, uh, she is expected to be here around noon with Professor Eric, uh, John Nash. Uh, they are coming from Sao Paulo because they stayed there uh, too late uh, uh, yesterday, so they are able to be here just in uh, the middle of the day. Uh, so now I'm going to pass the, the, the words to Professor uh, Luiz Araújo, our vice, vice director of our school, to say a few words, and then the president of IPEA. Thank you very much. Uh, and then uh, it's, a, uh, it's very nice to see that uh, I did, uh, how we've been able to, under diversity, to develop uh, theory. Uh, this is a, a proof of that in, in Brazil, in particular FGV. Um, when, uh, p uh, let's tell a little bit of the story of um, theory or in Brazil and in particular in FGV, uh, Fundação Getúlio Vargas. Um, uh, the, the person that we're going to meet here later on, the current president, is uh, Carlos Ivan Simon saint who has a PhD in game theory, just to give an idea. But I go back and then think about his uncle, uh, that was uh, Marinhik Simonsen. And then uh, we thank him a lot because he first he was a partial student in IMPA. There was being a strong relationship between the Tula Vargas and IMPA. And uh, he was um, a student in IMPA, and then he uh, understood many, the importance of mathematics to economics, and then he dropped his academic career, although he was extremely bright. And then he, uh, he was teaching here in Getulivá. He was the director of uh, the position that Ruben Cisne has now. A lot of responsibility on us that following his tradition. He was the minister of finance, but he never left uh, theory. He always, after being minister many years, he wrote a very good book, Marco. Lost, but the mathematics was done much more carefully than all the international books, I must tell you. There is an international market that you know, he would did it better, more precision, projection, Hilbert space, and so forth. So it's a very, uh, and he was, he was the person, I owe him a lot, because he was the person that invited me to teach Getúlio Vargas. Besides him, I came first to him. But that helped me a lot in my career. And then he always gave support uh, to uh, the development of uh, theory, so, uh, and economics as a whole. And, uh, but, uh, sorry about, uh, I hope you can hear it now, so, but, but uh, so, uh, this, uh, uh, we had some tradition, it cannot do in larger scale, because you can imagine Brazil is always competing for resource, so whenever you form, like in Simons himself, there are many others that came later that end up doing very important practical things, because we have, there are few of us. But a, a small group remained, and this is a proof that to host to make this uh, special event for Marilda, that uh, I had the honor to be part of her thesis committee, discussing in the beginning of her research, not in matching, but uh, dynamic economics, that was she originally interested. And uh, I hope, um, uh, we, I want to welcome you too, and then to thank people that come from very distant, and not only went to Sao Paulo, but even come to Rio, so, and to Getulio Vargas. Welcome, everybody. Thank you.
Thank you, Aloysio. Now, the President of IPEA, Sergei Soares. Well, good morning. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Fundação Getúlio Vargas for hosting this important workshop. I think um, it's a part of their immense, uh, almost unmeasurable contribution to our country and to the development of uh, economics and, uh, and the development of our country. I'd also like to welcome all of you here. Um, it's a, a true pleasure to be uh, here welcoming you. I think that this, this workshop is part of um, other, another series of events that, that has, a, 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 that has um, come before, and I think uh, it will be very useful and very uh, um, helpful for everybody here. I, I'd like to congratulate the workshop and the organizers of the workshop in, um, in choosing Marilda as the special person in honor of whom this workshop is being made. I mean, her, her leadership in the academic world is immense. I, I think nobody will disagree with that. Um, actually, her leadership is uh, so great that we had uh, four Nobel Prize winners in the, um, in the Congress on Game Theory that, that just ended at, at, uh, at a USP, you know, John Nash, Robert Altman, Eric Mansky, and Alvin Roth. And um, I think that she is as, as there's some people who, in, in, um, in the development of a, of a field, you almost come to identify uh, that field with that person. And certainly, Mariel is one of these people. I would also like to thank um, all of our distinguished um, visiting international scholars here. And it's important to say that uh, none of them received a cent to be here. Um, and I think it's uh, very kind of you, and I'm very honored to be here with all of you. Um, before finishing, I'd just like to say something from a bit of from my, li from my side as, as president of IPEA about the importance of linking theory, um, applied research, and more theoretical research. Uh, it's, it's not my area, but as far as I know, there's, there's three areas in which um, game theory has had a lot of applied um, use, uh, which would be um, matching, voting rules, and um, auctions. Here at Getulio Vargas, there are excellent researchers such as Luis Araujo and uh, Paulo Klinger, who have worked on the more theoretical side of this. We at IPEA, where the, um, well, the name of IPEA is the Institute for uh, Applied Economic Research, and that's what our name is, and that pretty much says what we do. I think um, the, uh, there, there's, there's, a false div there's many false divisions in economics, and one of these false divisions is between applied and theoretical. And we need, we need um, more interaction between the two sides. And I think we need more interaction, for example, between IPEA and GV in game theory. Um, why do I say this? At IPEA, we have, for example, Danilo Coelho, who has been using um, um, things that were developed for voting rules in very practical, um, you know, down to earth applications in institutions such as our. Um, such as our uh, prosecutor's office, Supreme Court, who's, and the Supreme Court, who's, whose members are selected by the rule of K names. And so this is an example of how uh, a very theoretical application, a very theoretical application becomes a very practical application. Um, we have Alexandre Marinho, I don't see him here, I don't know if he's here, who has been working on better ways to do matching between organ donors and organ recipients for tra organ transplants. And once again, this is a very practical application of theoretical research. So I don't want to take up your time because I'm sure there's much more interesting people to, 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 for you to listen to than me, but I think I would just like to leave this appeal that we, wouldn't, that we need greater interaction between uh, theory, theoretical economics, and applied economics in all areas, but in particular in, um, in game theory. So. Um, that's it, and thank you very much, and welcome all of you. Thank you, Sergei. 
And now a few words of our chairman of our school, Escola Brasileira de Economia, uh, Brasileira de Finanças, Economia. Thank you, Humberto. Good morning to all of you. I want to start thank you, thanking uh, those who took the charge of organizing this workshop, which is something very difficult to do. Uh, that starts uh, with Humberto and Aloysio, and uh, we also had the sponsorship of IPEA. This is a workshop which actually is a satellite of the International Workshop on Game Theory and Economic Applications of the Game Theory Society. And we, I would also like to thank the, besides IPEA, the EPRG, the Economics and Politics, Politics Research Group. I am very happy to notice that our school uh, is doing, is somehow fulfilling its role, which is having people from all over the world come over here to interact with our faculty, with our students, and with our distinguished guests of several different places in Rio and in Brazil. In the last two weeks, I had here in this table discuss discussions which I hope have been very fruitful to our students and to our faculty. We had uh, José Manuel Duran Barroso telling us uh, two weeks ago here in this table about the situation in the Ukraine. We had João Manuel Barroso telling us about why so many people were so wrong for such an amount of time regarding the euro and now I'm talking about 2011, 12 and 13 and he said that uh, when he was in a tour in the European banks and in, 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 in North America as well that almost the majority of people would predict that the euro would collapse in two or three months or two or three weeks, and that was in during 2011, 12, and 13. And he also told us, and I hope our students have taken advantage of that, his role in climate change. He has he has been very active and. Uh, told us the details about the 40% reduction of gases and 27% of uh, renewable energy, which are the targets for Europe in the years to come. And uh, last, uh, I think, three or, or, or four days ago, we had for the second time our friend, I, I can say he's already a friend of our school because he has he been here twice with us, Eric Maskin. <coughs> was also teaching us about why using majority rules should be superior to using some other rules which should more easily allow to having the voter voting uh, strategically. So I think you all know the, his ideas. And he was also suggesting regarding Brazil that that could be a good idea. Uh, after that, some people were speculating about how that would apply to the Brazilian voting system. So somehow the, the discussion about a very important thing, which is politics, which I, it's complementary to the discussion about institutions, has permeated the school. And this is my role as the dean of the school, mm -hmm. is having people come over here, taking care that things work properly, so I, I, I hope uh, uh, the, the way we have organized this workshop, our guests who came so from so far away with such hectic agendas have a good time, not only here, but in Rio by night, going to nice places that we have over here. This is, this is the role which I have to fulfill, and uh, I'm happy to see that these things are working very, very well and very properly. I have some words to say about the great and a spectacular contribution of Mario da Sotomayor, but I reserve that for the other session in noon.